It's Mr. New Vegas letting you know I've got a new Christmas compilation coming out soon. Nuclear Winter Wonderland. Look for it on Holotape. All the latest news coming your way right now. Several unidentified aircraft were spotted flying over the rep contest site by a local crackpot. He spoke to a toy bear near one of our microphones. It's ghouls, I tell you. Religious ghouls in rockets looking for a land to call their own. Don't you laugh at me. I know a spell that'll make you show your true form. Cave Rat taught it to me. Also, NCR officials at Camp McCarran were relieved when technical difficulties with its monorail line to the New Vegas Strip proved easy to fix. One anonymous official told us a serious mechanical failure would have been a disaster because of the age of the train and the scarcity of the replacement parts. Stay classy, New Vegas. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time we did a little bit of wasteland exploring, and also I died a little on the inside due to the over encumbrance of the audio editing I had to do. Thank God that's over with. And also Veronica gave me a face that'll haunt me me in my nightmares till the end of time. Anyways, in today's video we're going to be doing the one thing everyone is super excited for me to say that I'm going to do. We're heading back to Freeside! Don't everyone celebrate at once. Uh, but yes, we're heading back to Freeside and we're going to be going back to talk to the Canes because we got the Canes Gambit, which we need to you know, negotiate a peace treaty between the NCR and the Kings. So, I got my snazzy business negotiator suit, my snazzy negotiator glasses, and a laser pistol, because I haven't been using my trusty old laser pistol for a long time. And we're gonna head off. And don't mind the dead bodies that you see spread around all over the place. I did a little bit of exploring to, you know, get everything ready for er, today's video. And a couple of thugs thought they could deal with me. Basically... Some guys... Damn it. Mmm. I was about, I was gonna quote a Fresh Prince of Bel-Air thing, but the, the theme song's stepping away from me for a moment. Uh, whatever. A couple of guys that were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight, and Veronica got scared, so she punched them halfway across the block. Alright, let's head back into the school. Because we gotta talk to the king. And also, while I was doing a little bit of stuff, I also put some things away back in the Lucky 38. And for some reason, I don't know why, Rex seems to have disappeared off the face of the earth there. I don't know if... Oh, there he is. Rex! Rex, where are you going? Rex? Well, alright then. Rex just... ran away from the king. Alright. Hello, Mr. King. I need a moment of your time, ho ho. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? I'm here to call in a favor. Uh, but let's see. Stop the violence against the NCR cit citizens. Whoa, that's a doozy. Truth be told, I don't even know if I can pull something like that off. Uh, all I'm asking is that you try. I'll give it my best. You've earned that much. But that makes us even, you hear? Now, the option I just took, that can only happen if you didn't call in one of your favors for the king when you finished his, uh, like, his whole story quest. But, I did, and now, we pretty much solved that as peacefully as we can. There are other ways to solve it, of course, alternates and extras are gonna, you know, cover it in the future. But before we head back to Freeside to tell the news to the ambassador, there's a couple of things I want to do. First things first, I want to go to the Atomic Wrangler because we got to fill out the last of that mission that they gave us to do. Only because we, I've been putting it off for far too long. And I, for most of the LP, I forgot that uh, he was on the strip and I just never talked to him until then. So let's see. So, Benny's Francine? Dead, huh? That shifty son of a bitch had it coming. Hey, you're telling me you should have seen the mess that I left in, left in his room. Well, well, my room. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, I took care of McCaffrey. Yes. Where's his hat? Right here. This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. 
I need to find a place on the wall for this. And for your reward, here's 150 caps. I trust there were also some valuables on the Caffrey. Also, we would like to set you up with a room. You can have the corner room, rent free. It was McCaffrey's. Now that he's dead, we're happy to let you use it. Thanks for helping us. I can't tell if it's just your character model or not, but are you blind? I mean, your eyes look very faded. Eh, whatever. Uh, the followers are looking to trade supplies. Interesting. Well, you're gonna need to speak with my brother. J I, but I think I already talked to him about it, so I, I just saw the option there. I just wanted to see what would happen. Hey, I'm liked in Freeside. Now, hopefully I don't get jumped as much by thugs, because the more you get liked in Freeside, the less likely you're to be attacked by a random encounter, which it's kind of nice. People, they don't like you here, but you're doing good work for the community, so they're putting up with your shit. Hello, sir. Simon? Silver Rush. New Vegas is best. Ah, I'm just kidding. Go on in. Say, where's that replacement that you replaced me with that I was making a decent amount of caps for, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought, cheap bastards. Hello? I'm here to see what you have for sale. I want to see if I can actually get one of your unique uh, energy weapons. Because screw birds of a feather. Alright, let's see. We got Cleansing Flame. What were the other ones? It was the Smithy Special... And the Sprittlewood. 25,000 for these two. Uh, he's got a tri-beam laser rifle. The Cleansing Flame is the least expensive one with only tw 12,000. You know what? I had all this junk that I picked up in my recent travels. You know what? I don't think I need it anymore. I got rid of my old rein my reinforced combat armor because I got the Mark II version, and I honestly couldn't upgrade repair it with the uh, amount of repair that I have, so I decided to sell it. But you know what? I deserve a little something for all my hard work, so we're going to get it a nice little flamethrower. And we are going to cleanse this place of its sins. No, we are not, because I'm going to die almost instantly. I know I got one punch Veronica with me, but... I don't think even she can handle all the plasma rifles that are in this place. But, you know, Cleansing Flame is a pretty cool weapon. I mean... It, it's an invisible flame. It's, it's weird. Huh. The flame's not supposed to be invisible, though. It's actually supposed to be blue. I don't get it. But, eh, whatever. I just made a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler. I got my stuff, I got my little base that I'm never going to use because I got the Lucky 38. I have no reason to go back to the Atomic Wrangler, unless I feel lucky and get some chips. Or, you know, feel lucky in a different sense, but I, I, don't, I don't swing that way. I'm not, I'm not a ghoul sexual. The hell? Okay, it's just kids. I thought it was just a bunch of other thugs that were coming after me. Now, you might be wondering why I'm heading back to Mormon Fort. Well, there's... This is a hold my beer moment. Because something has been bugging me for quite a while now. And it's with Eddie, my love. I've been doing some research and I've been trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Because usually after uh, the Brotherhood of Steel contacted us the second time about Eddie... I don't know if I need to go to Hidden Valley to find his, like, to get his upgrade for it, but I want to talk around here and see if we can find the follower who would upgrade Eddie at this place. Alright, so I did a couple around Mormon Fort, and apparently I can't find the follower that I'm supposed to talk to, so maybe I need to go to Hidden Valley and talk to the Brotherhood before I get contacted, or maybe they contact me be when I get close to Hidden Valley. I don't know, but hey, something I do know. I can't ever thank you enough for saving me and mine. We're free now. It's the slaves we freed from the Legion back at Cottonwood Cove, which is a nice little touch that they give. Like, it's nice to see they survived their journey. I'm surprised they survived their journey because with all the nightmares the Wasteland has to offer, because I think that's Cazador territory. And also, you know, the big Legion, like, group that's over there, but... And they made it in one piece, I'm happy for them. And now with all my business in Freeside concluded, hopefully for the last time, but knowing my luck, we're going to be coming back here a few more times. 
I will meet you back at the ambassador's office so we can give off the good news. What the hell? Okay, well that just happened. Appar I have no words for that. That that was just completely random. Alrighty, we have made it back to the embassy. Mr. Ambassador, I have good news for you. No bloodshed was spilled except for a few three side thugs that thought they could get the upper hand on me, but that wasn't my fault. Ah, hello. I trust you have something to report concerning the free side situation? Yeah, I killed a few more free side people. Hope you don't hold that against me. Yes, do you have something to report? I spoke to the king. He promised to stop the violence between against NCR citizens. That's great to hear. He's got a lot of sway in Freeside, so we can expect a dramatic drop in violence soon. Now, you're probably wondering about your reward. This has been something of a hot-button topic, so I was able to secure this for you. Ooh, what'd you get? NCR fame, of course. 600 bottle caps? Nah, not a bad thing but you know I've risked my neck out there can't you spare a little more well I don't officially have access to any more funds but here this is from me personally there's more coming your way too I've received a message from Colonel Moore up at Hoover Dam she's been following your exploits and has requested that you meet with her you're not officially in the employ of the NCR so there's nothing forcing you to go but I'd go see her sooner rather than later the Colonel is not someone you want to keep waiting you know, with all the work I've given to the NCR, why haven't you made me an employee of you, you guys? I mean, I know I'm more of a freeside mercenary for you, but... Meh, freeside. But, you know, with all the work and effort I've put into making sure the NCR does not die out in the Mojave, you probably should show me a bit more respect and say, Hey, we're, I'm one of your best troopers out there. Here's some armor that does not decrease your popularity with us. But yes, that's pretty much it for the ambassador's office. Uh, we could head off to Hoover Dam, and actually I do have a few things I need to get there. Uh, I also took the liberty while in between last part and this part. I gave the remaining snow globes that I had on my person to house, so that's where you saw bigger boosting caps when I went to buy the... The... Damn it! The... The flamethrower, there, flamer, whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much our business there. I know that there is a snow globe at Hoover Dam, and you know, in all the times we've been into that area of the Mojave, we've never visited Hoover Dam. It's almost high time we do play that place a visit, but before we do that, Veronica, I love you, girl. I love you to death, but I think it's time we get some new company to join us on our little... Wasteland Exploits. You might remember this old place. We haven't been to here in ages, except for when I have to go find equipment, like magazines, to up my skills because I'm not smart enough to, so I need to read fashion magazines too. Well, you remember eh, a familiar face who was drowning her sorrows at the bar? And, you know, actually, wait. Just want to make sure one thing. Uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, Legend Star, can make it care, put a spell in, we all good together, booted, uh, hard ice, but a number. Okay, so we can't do that right now. Let's head back to the Crimson Caravan Company because I need to go there if I want to recruit her as a companion. But yes, we are going to be getting cast before we end things off here. You know what? Yeah, she's probably my favorite companion out of all of them, just because I like her character and her personality. So, I think that's probably the best way to end it off. And where are we at? Well, we're almost at half an hour, so it'll, it'll probably be a shorter video, but... With the extra stuff, with the alternate ways that we can deal with the kings, it, it's... It's worth it. So I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas and, you know, enjoying a Happy New Year together. Uh, it's been it's been very good here, although it, everything outside looks nothing like winter now. It looks more like it's spring or summer. Uh, newsflash, Caravan Guard. They're already here. Alright. 
Open sesame. That's just the bathroom. Okay, so... Apparently... The Crimson Caravan leader is not here. So why don't we let, wait a little bit? Probably shouldn't have come here at 2 a.m., but eh. Beggars can't be choosers. Welcome it seems back. to be a good time. There you are. Huh. Let me check something real quick. Something's not right. Uh, let's see, Hardik got a number. Booted, we still need to do that. Uh, we all go together. Put a spell on you. My little legend of story. What the hell's going on here? We can't sit oh, we gotta go to Camp McCarran before we can do that stuff. Alright, so I guess we're gonna, you know, postpone it a little bit. I'm sorry about things seem a little jumbled in today's video, just... I forgot that we had to go to McCarran for all this, so I'll see you back in inside the McCarran base. Alright, we're back in McCarran, and let us head off to deliver that invoice, or that message, or that package. I don't know what it is, I'm not the person to ask questions. Hello, troopers. I... Have a delivery for you, sir. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? No, oh, this is the first I've heard about Vault 22. No, they wouldn't have briefed you, would they? Probably better that our junior fellows stay within the bounds of their pay grade anyway. Vault 22. Where to begin? Uh, I'm listening. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Well, I see where Bethesda got its crop growing mechanic from Fall for Fallout 4. Hey yo! Nothing's impossible. Precisely. Science has proven that truth a thousand times over. But how many wasteland savages believe it? Present company accepted, of course. The bounty I described to you is no idle fantasy. It exists in primitive form only a few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and unlock its secret. For that, the OSI needs you. Scientific discovery is never so simple as that. Isn't it? One directs one's efforts, or the efforts of others, toward a goal, and progress is made. It's a matter of incentives, nothing more. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Hmm. I'll think about it. Well, I hope you'll consider this an open offer from the OSI. Now, I'm sure your time is valuable, so unless there was anything else... Actually, there is. I had some other questions, and by other questions, I mean... That's not Inspired what I want to ask you. I got an invoice for you. I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? Well, that was it. So yeah, we may pay Vault 22 a visit in the future. Hmm? A little busy at the moment. Hmm. Need help with anything? You work? No, that'll be up to the administrator, Hildern. He's back there. Between you and me, I don't think he ever leaves. Plenty of mercs. Hmm, what for? I can't say. We're not supposed to talk about the research. Not the details. Alright. Actually, real quick. I want to just make sure. We spoke earlier. Alright, I'll investigate 22. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level where they would have backed up their research data. 
A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? I'll do my best. As long as there's a steady paycheck, I'll do anything. Well, did most Dr. anything. Hilburn, this really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? Yeah, he told me to get some data from Vault 22. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildren sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs, one after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? No, he reluctantly decided to keep that information to himself. But now he's hired you, which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley, and she failed, or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich, not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc, but I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. All right, I'll keep my eyes open if I ever go to 22. I had a good feeling about you. The moment you walked in. I mean it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's head out. And let's deliver this payment to Alice and then go get Cass. Well, today's adventure seems to have gone a different route than I expected. The hell? That's weird. It's not pointing me straight to Crimson Caravan. It's just pointing me to the gate. That is weird. But whatever. Off to Crimson Caravan. You know, I never noticed the fact that the Patriots cookbook's cover, the stripes on it, are sticks of dynamite. Of all the times i played this, I've never noticed that. I don't know if that's stupidly clever or cleverly stupid. Or just one or the other. Invoice delivered as you asked. As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. Hmm, depends on the job. This is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything that involves no alarms, no deaths. Uh, tell me about the negotiation. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave Outpost. Yeah, I know Cass. I know her pretty well. Uh, what about this problem with Henry? The Jamesons are very wealthy ranchers back in Redding, California, and significant investors in the Crimson Caravan Company. I was pressured into posting young Henry as the manager of the New Vegas branch. As you can see, he wasn't exactly cut out for the job. He was much more interested in gambling and prostitutes. And because of his family, I can't simply fire him. Henry needs to be convinced to quit, one way or another. I won't have a useless employee on the company payroll. Hmm, and the gunrunner job. The quality of the gunrunner's armaments is due to their manufacturing process. They craft all weapons on site. I want to know the secrets of their manufacturing process. Which means you'll need to find some way to get inside their heavily guarded factory. I would greatly prefer that you perform this job undetected and without killing anyone. If it can be helped. Alright, I'll see what I can do. So finally we can go get Cass. Man, it only took me, what, 31 videos to pick her up? And apparently a new Christmas compilation is coming out. It makes sense since it's only November 18th in the game. Off to Mojave Outpost. Away! Miss Cassidy. I believe we've met. It may have been a few months, years. 
But I hope you remember my face. What's on your mind? Uh, the Crimson Caravan sent me to buy you out. Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. Hmm. Well, what happened to your caravan? Hit by raiders packing some heavy firepower. Can't believe the Crimson Caravan haven't heard. So if you want to buy all of Cassidy Caravans, you're looking at it. And what I got in my pockets. Still, as little as that is, not looking to sell. So even if you have nothing, if you won't sell. To you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. I have the offer letter here. The terms are fair. No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad, it'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Are well, you sure? You came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right trading history for a slip of paper. Uh, I could barter her and give her 750 caps. Maybe there's something else we could trade. The outpost is the last place you want to be trapped. You know, that makes me sound like a complete and total asshole to her. If you made the caravan, you're responsible for, for killing it. Wow, that is a dick thing to say to someone who's so down on their luck. Is this outpost really the last place you want to be trapped? That's a good point. It's the caravan clearance that's got me stuck here. I'm sure this bar's getting tired of propping me up. Give me that paper. I'll put my name to it. No sense trying to hold the past between your fingers when it's nothing but dirt. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of relieved, actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. And uh, what no will you idea. do now? Maybe head back west. Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, you could join me. We can go kill pe people together. Too many by my count. Damn it, this isn't Fallout 2. I can't have more than two human companions. Veronica, I love you, girl. You've done me so much work in the past, but for right now, it's time for us to part ways. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but don't worry, it's not for good. Hey, you can go back to the Lucky 38. Can I order room service? Order whatever you want. All the help you've given me in the past is nothing compared to the amount of people you've sent flying across the Mojave that has made me laugh we countless times. Wow. Wow. Subtle. So subtle! Uh. Come on, join me. And why the hell would I do that? Yeah, you know what? I could use someone who knows the roads. Help, not just tag along. Huh. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. All right, I'm in. And Cass has joined us and given her her perk. Let's take a look at her perk and see what it benefits it gives us. Whiskey Rose. While Cass is a companion, she and the player gain damage threshold whenever they drink whiskey. Additionally, the player does not suffer an intelligence loss from the consumption of alcohol and ignores negative effects of alcohol addiction. <gasps> so if you're a heavy drinker, she's the companion for you. You know what? Bartender! Two for the road. And also some casings, because why not? What the hell is this? Plasma pistol, high energy ionizer? Huh. Hunting rifle, match barrel? 
Baseball back, core core. The hell's that supposed to be? Eh, whatever. Two whiskeys for the road. Let's get a move on. You're gonna enjoy the Mojave. We're gonna kill so many people together, you won't even believe it. Actually, let's get to know Cass a, a little bit before we end things off. Well, now that I'm free of the outpost, I was wondering if you'd mind making a detour. I'd like to pay my respects to the end of Cassidy Caravans. Check out the site where they died. Where was your caravan hit? <sighs> Upside of Vegas, hear tell? Trapped at the Mojave outpost. So I wasn't able to run there when I heard. Been weeks since it was hit. So the site's probably a Cazador nest by now. Well, lucky I got my Cazador bug zapper with me, so we got nothing to worry about. How'd you catch word of it? Got word back on what happened from Rangers. Guess they found enough in the wreckage to identify it. Uh, think there's anything left? <sighs> Only wishful thinking on my part, most likely. At the least, I'd like to pay my respects. I got them into this mess. I owe them that much. Alright, fair enough. We'll go. Thanks. I appreciate it. Some of the caravan might be ash, but we were expecting raiders and over-inquisitive NCR border guards. There might be something left. If I'm there with you, shouldn't be hard to spot. And I'd prefer to see the bodies with my own eyes. Alright, got a few other questions. And can you tell me anything about the platinum chip? Well, no idea why your friend Mr. House wants it, but I'm guessing it's not for the caps. Uh, where'd you get that pendant? Gift from my dad, along with my name. Rose of Sharon Cassidy. Mom said he got the name out of some old world book about dirt pilgrims. Name sure sounds sweet, though. Anyway, pendant's a little rose. Originally thought it was one of Mom's tribal necklaces, but no. Came from Dad. Hmm. Huh. Tell me a bit about your dad. Not much to tell. He ended up walking east one day when I was young and never came back. Not a family deserter like some, though. Mom died waiting for him, and she had me to raise. She was sick, but she held off dying until I was old enough to be getting into trouble with the boys. As for Dad... I figure he just got himself lost or dead. Happens. And I'm not all boo-hoo about it, so save your glass for someone who's crying. Hmm. Any idea why you went east? Not a clue. When he left, I was too in my crib to understand why, and around the time Mom passed, I was too into my teens to listen. Got his name, got this pendant, and that's about it. Maybe he thought he was going west, but instead he was going to go west and just got lost. Where'd you learn to shoot? Short of caps is what taught me mostly. Ammo's expensive, so I learned to make every shot count. And here tell my dad was a crack shot, so I don't want to dirty the family name. Not out of pride. Respect. Hmm. <clears throat> and dynamite? Dynamite's for when you don't have enough bullets, want to clear a pass or scare off geckos from a caravan. Some of Twisters out of the Divide can block off a pass in no time, so you learn how to handle powder so you don't get trapped somewhere. Any event, I prefer shooting if it comes down to an argument. Don't worry, I'll carry my weight if a disagreement arises. I like you, Cass. Uh, any other weapons you can use? What, you mean like spears? No, none of that. Mom was a tribal, but she didn't teach me anything like that. Your mom was a tribal? You know, like one of the tribes from the east. We got them out west, too. NCR's herding them up, though, domesticating them. Mom was from east of the Colorado, though. Not sure what tribe. It was before the time Caesar rounded them up, made them legion. She walked a hell of a way until she crossed paths with my dad, and he convinced her to stop walking. And lucky for me, he was a horny old bastard. Hmm. Now I wonder if this is dependent on Fallout 2's main character. If you don't know, in Fallout 2, you can actually recruit her father as a companion through it. And with all the talk of tribals and traveling, I wonder if, like, if the main character of Fallout 2 was supposed to be a female character, and she's supposed to be her mother. I don't know. I'm sure the Fallout conspiracy nuts out there probably are like, No, this is it. No, this is it. No, this is it. But, eh. It's only a theory. A GAME THEORY, NO. Uh, well, that's one way to put it. Didn't ask Mom to elaborate. 
Never heard her complain about his veteran behavior. Only complain he wasn't around to do it no more. Hmm. Sad. All right, well, we got a little bit of Cass's story. We got Cass herself. We finished up pretty much everything to do on the NBR, NCR Embassy. I almost said MBR em Embassy. And, yeah, that's pretty much a good place to end it off. We did make a few bit of progress. Next time on Fallout New Vegas, we're going to go pay a visit to Cass's Caravans. Try saying that five times fast. And then probably do a little bit of exploration around the Mojave. Maybe go do some work around Camp McCarran because I do have a lot of work over there I need to do. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Later! cover in the last alternates and extras for 2017 so without further ado let's get started first of which is the ways to deal with pacer now way one is to just outright kill him however you can only do this with an energy weapon using a ballistics or a melee weapon will instantly fail the quest now unfortunately i was unable to show off steps two three and four due to a glitch but i'll quickly go over them under Pacer's bed, there is a hidden stash of chems. With 60 medicine, you can spike it with Psycho, which will cause him to OD on it, killing him without having to get your hands dirty. Step 3 has you place a plasma weapon in it, framing the Van Graffs, and having Pacer run over and get killed by them. Step 4 will take you to Mick and Ralph's, where you need to pass a speech check, which will get you a forged note from the Van Graffs. Head back, place a note in the stash, and the outcome will pretty much be the same as Step 3. Now, to deal with this diplomatically... Sort of. If you decide to go to Hoover Dam and talk to Colonel Moore, she will send you back to the Kings with a company of troops and an ultimatum. Surrender or die. Surprise, surprise, the King doesn't take kindly to threats and you will be forced to wipe out the gang completely. Now, if you'd rather not have as much bloodshed, go talk to Colonel Shu at McCarran instead. This will send you back to the King with a more diplomatic approach, offering more supplies in return for cooperation. The king accepts, but Pacer and a group of kings will attempt a coup, and you'll need to kill him and his supporters. Just be careful, because the king can be killed easily if you choose this option. And that's all there is to it. Thank you all for watching, Happy New Year's, and I will see you all in 2017.